How's it going everyone? It's Sam. I want to talk to you today about a penny stock that I bought today. It might be our next penny stock, our next big penny stock, and it's actually pretty cheap compared to its competitors or just compared to, I guess, other penny stocks, not really their competitors. But since we bought it, it's up almost 15%. I'll show you how much I bought. I'll explain why I'm buying the amount that I'm buying and what the big catalyst was that came out today that uh, I think a lot of people didn't hear about. So I'm pretty excited about this. Uh, right off the bat, if you guys don't mind hitting the like button, I appreciate that. Please hit subscribe too. Uh, for all the people that watch this, there are other people that just skip ahead to the stock. So if you guys have heard this, please hit those buttons. Also, uh, there is a link down there to Webull if you want to trade post-market hours. If you're in the U.S., you could have traded this after the market closed and you could buy the stock. Now, they are given up to $3,700 away if you deposit $100. That's something to keep in mind. And I want to give a shout out to the Patreon because someone reached out to me from the Patreon. And like I said... Uh, the Patreon is so valuable just because there's so many people and they're looking for stocks. I mean, my main job these days isn't even making videos. It's just sorting through the stocks that people give me. And I think this one could be a winner. Now it went all the way up to $2.70. Now it's down to about $2.50. But again, we bought in at $2.20. And I do want to say I give every single stock that I buy and sell in there. So right off the bat, I'll just show you we bought, and I wasn't sure if I wanted to talk about this today, uh, but I bought a thousand dollars worth of Ethereum today. We bought in around nine hundred dollars. Uh, I think it was right around nine hundred. Now that I say it, I think it might have been nine twenty-five or something. Now we're up fifteen percent. We also bought Bitcoin today when it was right below thirty-one thousand or right around thirty-one thousand. Now it's at thirty-five five. So uh, I did give both of those that I was buying today. And we also bought CCIV, a stock that I just did a video on a little while ago. I bought it around, I believe, right around twelve ninety eight or something like that. Now it's up almost a dollar, so we're up seven and a half percent or eight percent in that. So uh, we've been up on a lot of stocks today, and the last one is uh, BTWN. We're about we're about even on this one, but the stock that we're talking about today is HAP stock. So this one, we bought in at $2.20. Now it's around $2.58. I think it could keep moving up. So right now, uh, I'll just show you my position. So we're up 15.5%. I bought in 200 shares. It says that it's still worth about $212, but that's because it's fidelity. It's not accounting for aftermarket hours, I think. So we bought 100 shares. Now, the reason I bought a small amount was because I bought so much of every other stock, but also because this is a very risky stock. So of course... I'm not a financial advisor. Do all your own research on this. They're an innovative China-based nutraceutical and dietary supplements producer focused on research, development, and manufacturing and marketing of a variety of products made from Chinese herbal extracts and other ingredients. The company's goal is to provide high-quality products to our consumers. Over the past 14 years, the company has established a product portfolio consisting of 32 CFDA registered blue cap SKUs. Uh, I'll just let the rest. You can re you can read the rest on your own time there. But what came out today is that they surged with their e-commerce business growing 70% month over month in December. Now, the shares were up 29% in the pre-market. So, I mean, we were up a lot after the market. But look at this over the last couple days, over the last five days. You can see it's been moving a lot. And it was just $1.68 about a week ago. Now, going back to what they've done, they, they grew to $5.5 million in sales uh, just over in December. And they had $3 million in November. So they are, they're growing pretty quickly. Now, I don't know if this will continue to ramp up and I'll tell you how I'm playing this in a second, but they did have really good sales this month. Now, this is something that I don't think a lot of us see here in the US, uh, but it, it is something to keep into account. Now, this is a small stock. You can see 55 million as of market close. Now it's up, so it's, it's a bigger market cap now, but they actually have decent profitability. Year 2020 financial results. So this is July 24, they released this. So you have to go back a little bit because there's not too much information on this, but they had a decent amount of revenue. They had 65 million in revenue. So way more than uh, 
than what their company actually was worth at that point. If we actually, if we look at the six months, it was higher back then. So it's higher than it is now, but still $65 million is a good amount. They also had net income of about 12 and a half million, a little bit more than that. So this was a decrease from last year, but again, a pretty decent amount. So their price to earnings ratio is pretty small at this point. So how I'm playing this, because this just seems a little bit weird to me that they have this much net income, that they're e-commerce based, uh, that they're that they are sitting at these numbers and they're this cheap. It it strikes me as a little bit odd. But what I'm gonna do is, if they fall back to my cost basis, I'll sell out. Otherwise, I'll probably be looking to sell around three to three and a half dollars. I think it might keep on pumping up after night because or over overnight because it's moving up a lot after the market closed. Uh, I think it has some potential to run because again, it takes a while for us to hear about these types of articles. And this was just released this morning. Uh, so I'm in Eastern time. It was released at 8.23 Eastern time. I think this is something to keep uh, on your radar, even if you're not buying now. Now, of course, I'm not a financial advisor. I just have a small amount in this because I like with these penny stocks, there's not a lot of information on them. So while I have a decent conviction enough that I want to throw some money in, this is not a large percent of my portfolio by any means, but we've been doing really well on these quick uh, plays like TRXC. We were able to get 74% profit in one day. Uh, so we sold at 177. We bought last week, Friday at a dollar and three and a half cents, one dollar and three cents and then half a cent. So uh, we've been able to do this on a couple stocks recently. Of course, do your own research. But this one is one that I think just based on the, the news from it could move up. Now, again, I'm playing it as a swing play. So approach at your own risk. But I think it could have some potential. Again, take this with a grain of salt, do your research. Now, I did come across an interesting stock and I think not too many people have seen my video on it because I produced so many videos today, it's not pushing out to people. But CCIV is one that I think has some legs to keep on moving up. Again, we got in right below 13, uh, we're up a decent amount. I think it's one to keep into consideration. They're possibly merging with Lucid Motors. Definitely one to keep on your radar. They might be a potential, uh, p potential competitor to Tesla. Now, if you guys want to jump in the Discord, if you want to jump in the Patreon and know exactly what I'm buying and selling in real time, you can check out the link below. There are over 2,800 people in there. If you had put, I don't know, if you had put $40 in in this stock tonight, if you had put $40 into HAP, you have already made your first month back. So consider that. Uh, I think a lot of people are making a lot of money in there. I get comments all the time about that. So definitely check it out if you're interested down below. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Let me know your thoughts on HAP and be on the lookout on the end screen for this video on CCIV. I think it's definitely one that you should keep on your radar. 